that I have you here. Guess what? I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking something delicious, something you have never seen before. First of all, I think it has no name in English. That's a real indication that it's, I don't know, it's very local. It's a traditional thing. So I don't know how to tell it in English, but in my language, it is called Obaoguvu. In English, honestly speaking, I have never heard it. So guys, how about you learn with me? Hmm? Here is the water I've just put it. This is just pure water, cold water. I want it to boil, yeah? That's just water. So let's leave it there to boil. And I'm going to sort at this. I know some of you might come from places where you don't sort rice. Like your rice is packed, your rice is, I don't know. But for us here, it's different. It's, it's always, I don't know, there's a way it does not grind well. The machine does not grind it well. So we have to sort out always. So guys, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort it clean. And then, yeah, definitely I'm going to show you what follows after this. But hey watch this till the end yeah mm -hmm. Personally, I prefer to first boil the water. I don't know how you cook your rice, but for me, I first boil the water before I, I add the rice onto fire, guys. So, like I told you earlier on, I'm making something very local, uh, but a local one. Like, yes, it's out of rice. Rice might not be our staple food, fine, but the way I am going to cook it, it is very local. That I'm pretty sure you have never seen it anywhere before. And guess what? Yes, it's going to be your first time to see it. So, just watch this guys watch it and you see how interesting it's going to turn out it starts the same way yes it starts the same way like you always boil your rice i'm going to drop here some little oil just a little that's just for the rice Another thing, I don't know if it's the same way you also do it, but personally, um, it's not just it's not just actually me. In here in my land, this is how we do rice. If you if you have measured a cup of rice, yes, the water I always put like two cups of water. So I don't know if if it's just the type of rice here or it's the same way everyone cooks rice. I don't know. Please let me know in the comment section if you also cook rice the same way or there's a way you guys cook it a different way or you just pour water anyhow and yes it comes out perfect please let me know yeah so let's do it my way for now <laughs> so that is just the rice so because i measured one cup of rice i'm going to put in two cups of boiled water There we go. And then just some salt to taste. So that is just salt. It's nothing much. And then I'm going to color it. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to take out some fire. It seems too hot and you know, it might end up boiling. But because we want to bring out something perfect, let's do this. That will do. Alright, it's 
just give it some time to cook and get ready perfect our rice is ready as you can see there's no more water so it's good right let's take it off Now I'm going to need more fire, so I may, I'll have to add more charcoal. Because what I'm going to do now needs a lot of heat. You see how we regulate the heat here? <laughs> we don't. It's not just twist, twist like this. No, you have to either get off the charcoal or add more charcoal in. So that's the only way you're going to regulate the heat according to what you're cooking. Otherwise, it's simple. It's very easy. You might feel like it's tough, but it's very easy. I'm going to mix up this flour. This is cassava flour, by the way. But still, uh, if you don't have cassava flour, you can use um, wheat, yeah? Wheat flour. Baking flour. So, for me, I have access to this. So, this is what I'm going to use. Because I'm going to need to coat something here. Yeah, so I'm going to mix it. And make sure I think there's a way it comes out perfectly. So guys, do you eat cassava flour? Do you guys make cassava flour as well? Like, or you only eat cassava in that form as, as fresh as it is? Because for us, we eat it in different forms. And one of the way that we consume it is when it's in this state, when it's flour, when it's not the cassava itself, yeah? So let me know as well if you guys eat the flour. Leave alone the cassava itself, yeah? So I'm going to add in cold water. And keep stirring until it dissolves well. And of course, with color <laughs> did you see this coming no you did not i'm pretty pretty sure about that so guys let's do some coloring here let's make it have a beautiful color yeah let's have it have a let's make it have a beautiful color so i'm going to add it on because i want it to almost turn reddish yeah Perfect. Just what I wanted, guys. Oh my god. Just check my chicken over here in fridge. So, guys, I'm going to need to wash my hands. Actually, with soap because you know what? I'm going to hold that thing in my hand. So, hygiene is so paramount when you're doing this. Yeah. Whenever you're cooking, for me, I know hygiene is one thing that you just can't let go. Yeah. guys what happens is you get the rice okay the size here does not matter as well you can do according to your preference yeah so you get the rice and make balls out of them yeah have a look at this i mean just look at the price ball 
someone who eats eats. <laughs> Oh my god, meanwhile, have you ever seen something like this? Oh, that is how interesting my village can be, you guys. You're missing. <laughs> Please come and visit me already. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Beautiful, isn't it? Very, very beautiful, guys. Just look at that. And guess what? Just like you're seeing, it's looking very beautiful. Just know it tastes really delicious. Like, oh, crispy, soft, tender. I don't know how even. I don't know which word will describe it really best. But oh my god, it's very tasty. Meanwhile, guys. This can be a good accompaniment for your tea as well, yeah? If you're a fan of black tea, even coffee, even juice, guys. Meanwhile, if you want it with juice, please leave it to cool, yeah? It makes a very nice combination, meanwhile. Even with cold water, you know? It just goes with literally, I think any kind of drink really moves with this. So, just in case you're looking for something one morning and you're out of idea of what to make for breakfast, you can try my village street food meal while well, there's no harm in it <laughs> you can try trying is for free if you if you make a mistake you can hit my inbox as well and let me know so i can direct you on how how well to do it so please give it a try if you can <laughs> so guys this is just it oh my god you know how i just cannot even wait to test this thing ah Look at this. Oh, I want to test it. <gasps> oh, it's up to you already. <laughs> oh my goodness, thanks very much for watching, guys. If this happens to be a very first time that you just bumped on this channel, guys, I mean, you just looked at this and oh, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it. I mean, why not join the family by subscribing? Go ahead and share. So that will build even bigger and better family here i mean it's always going to be fun and so much interesting with me here so you don't want to miss it guys please go ahead and subscribe continue sharing like always you've done otherwise thanks a lot for today i enjoyed my time with you i hope you did as well Ooh, you want to test it <laughs> bye bye <laughs> i'm sharing with my cameraman as well he can't wait to eat it <laughs> Journey. It's very delicious. Bye-bye. <laughs>